<clears throat> good afternoon, good evening. Hello, hello, Antichrist and Don, how are you? All right, let's just get into it. No, it's not QPR. Oops, that's the Elgato. That's not what I wanted. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. My name is The Reckonist. This is Football Manager 21, and I've been testing the Strikerless um, and variations thereof. And I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've finally, after all this, all this time, finally got at least a close to a system that was effective as the Robins one was several years ago. Um, same shape, apart from Libero is now a defensive midfielder. Not sure if Register will remain there. I will put the file up for testing. There are lots of player instructions. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of them. But set pieces also need looking at. But still, I'm going to play a few more games and hopefully this, it will perform on the stage for the first time. Uh, because... The game has a way of working offline, and the second I go live on stream, Miles hacks in and makes it uh, impossible to make me look good. But here we go. So, yeah, the editor is on. All I've done is um, maximize tactical familiarity, but so it gives... By now, it's it, everyone's pretty much even anyway. So here we are. Um, I'm just going to play a game and see what happens. Um, hopefully, I'll look good. This doesn't require... Oh, I suppose it does. I'm not sure about the wingbacks. I'm not sure about the defensive midfielder. And I'm not even sure about these two. All I know is this actually seems to be working. Um, yep. Maybe some man marking stuff. I've still got mark specific positions on. Two ball play defenders wide. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, Mourinho sacked by Tottenham. Name a more iconic duo. Interesting football last night, and apparently tonight. What happened today with City? Because they were 3-1 up last time I checked. What score did they finish? Man City bounced back to thump. Oh, 5-2. Okay. How's Barcelona doing? Oh, it's one all. And yeah, PSG are going through, aren't they? Yeah. And Liverpool's nil. Leipzig nil. And yeah, good. So far. All right. Let's see. Okay, what have I done? I When I started the tactic, it needed the ad libero, so I brought over my old mate, Edison Alvarez, but he's been pretty naff, and he was so naff, I kind of put it down to the fact that he was playing in a new league, needed time to settle, whatever, and in making time to settle, I moved the libero to a defensive midfielder, sorry, a deep-line playmaker, and now I'm testing register. And um, James Ward-Prowse, what? Yeah. Very specifically, very specific on his technical abilities and his mental abilities are all. He's, he's a weird player. Box to box midfielder, perhaps. I'm playing him as a register because I've set all the corners up for him to take as a register. Um, All of my corners, all of them are to Vestergaard because Vestergaard is one of the best players in the game aerially. Jump in reach, 19. Bravery 16, heading 17. So all the corners are to the far post and all the corners are to him. He is on the far post. They're just variations of formations around him. Um, yeah, not sure about complete wing back. Not sure about wing back on this side. It makes sense. Attack defense. Uh, I don't know. Rolls and stuff are waiting to be confirmed, but I have gone with this. Let's see more. Let's see more. Leicester, right. Okay. See the form. We haven't been beaten in a long time. Say it's the 18th of December. And yeah, we started... Yeah, we were terrible at the start, which was pretty much where I sacked off the Libero there. And here we are now. Not bad. Expected position, 10th. Current position, 5th. After that start. So we'll see. We will see. So yeah, just before we get started, uh, I will pop all this onto the Patreon page for testing. I need as many eyes as possible. I might even do a little video and just stick it on my page. Um, just explaining what I'd like to have clarified. Spent a lot of hours on this the last two days. <laughs> Far too many. Oh yeah, yesterday I was supposed to stream, but 
I, for some reason, had... I believe it's called a migraine for the first time in my life. An actual full-on crippling migraine. Never had one. Um, I was, like, dizzy and bright lights and vomiting and couldn't move. Took about eight hours to get back to a semblance of being able to look at a computer screen. Uh, so I was up till about four o'clock this morning playing this. And, uh, yeah. Just thought, thought I'd show you. Oh, yeah, donations. I haven't put the donation bar up, did I? No. Okay, so Mrs. Rec, I don't know if you know this. She is a therapist. She's starting her own company. Which, as you might suspect, is a pricey thing. And I thought, since you guys like helping people, especially Mrs. Rec, for putting up with my nonsense and putting up with your nonsense as well. I do share what you say about her. Spoilers. Um, I thought we could try and um, help towards getting her a Chromebook. Not even a PC. She only needs a Chromebook. But um, our starter and our car went, like, yesterday. She had to get towed back. And uh, so any spare cash is going to that. And I thought it'd be a good idea to at least try and get a donation goal going because historically you've been excellent at it so i thought why not stick it there any donations between now and when she's expected to start by the end of the month we'll go towards that and not my selfish vr stuff what's your excuse to not have sex with mrs rec what <laughs> i won't have sex with mrs rec if you donate 299 dollars guaranteed all right one nil down i am setting down look they've had two shots and our excuse is similar yeah okay I'm not what well, didn't pay attention at all to what's happening there. So what I'm going to do is I'm struggling between cautious and attack. I'm going to go attack. Attack just seems to work because we've got we're, we've got three attacking midfielders as a front line. It looks like it's going to be attack. <sighs> Nathan Redmond. So yeah, Robin. I'm going to try to try this with two or three more saves. I'm pretty much at the end of my testing for this one because I'm I'm mm, fuck <laughs> until like, Jamie Vardy. I was fairly confident. It's gonna make me look shit now, isn't it? It's gonna make me look shit. Soon as I go live, it will make me look shit. Oh yeah, set pieces aren't done, so I'm ignoring goals from set pieces. By the way. Okay, then. Right. Two defenders. There they are. I believe Jamie Vardy's playing up front on his own, which means I have one of these guys set to mark the centre forward, whoever it may be, to man if there's only one. So he should be a little bit closer, but Jamie Vardy's fairly mobile and probably playing pressing forward, so good luck keeping up with him. Okay, this is where we're strong. The counter-attacks. Danny Ings is a man possessed. City, United, Real Madrid want him? How weird is that? 60 million I put a price on him for. I'm not going to get rid of him, but still. Yeah, demand more needs to happen here. As soon as I go live, we lose, obviously. So this is the... Oh, here we go. Here's my counter. There's the counter. Counter attack triggered. Armstrong is a bit of a 50-50 player. He's Armstrong, by the way, is a really good off-the-bench um, guy. Off-the-bench guy. Another corner. Oh, yeah, I have definitely subscribed to the, the free kicks in this game are OP as hell. The best way to defend free kicks is not give any away. And uh, stay on feet is clicks as default right now. <laughs> so that's the best I could do for it. Also, look at West Ham. Hmm. Oh, Southampton, by the way, are really good for this type of uh, test for a striker list because they've got a lot of the better players for it. Also, they have James Ward-Prowse, who is on steroids. I don't know what the hell James Ward-Prowse has on Miles, but it must be fucking serious. Oh, what a ball. Minamino. Oh, for fuck's sake. Finally, we get our actual shot. Right, okay, we got... It's 2-0 down. Very attacking. Let's get some subs. Find out who's playing garbage. Oh, lots of people playing garbage. Danny Ings, you're off. Che Adams has scored a few belters. 
Minamino, you're off as well. Jenna Pro. And Ryan Bertrand is tired, and I don't have... Oh, Sam McQueen. There we go. All right, fresh legs. Two goals. Eight minutes. Berate. No reactions. You need to identify which players aren't performing as early as possible. Half time. Oh, Jesus Christ, lads. He'll kick himself for missing that. Oh, no. Oh, and here comes their counter. I think this is actually after a run of games, so I'm wondering if our players are knackered. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's wide open. Oh, no. Right, this is something I'm not 100% happy with. These guys are in a line. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering if one of them should even be back and it should be a front two. I don't like this space. Oh, there we go. But then there's the strength of it is here. Look at this now. It's two on one, technically. Too, bit too slow. And we got blocked. Whoa, what the heck happened then? I just heard something. What the fuck was that? My alarms aren't working. Shit. What was that? That someone donated something. Whoa! Don donated a hundred fucking smackaroos! Don! I love you, man. I was talking about this before. I said, she said, if you if you could meet one of your people who comes to watch you, which one it would it be? I said, get this. I said, well, obviously it was Illbeard, but that would be less of an issue because he's not that far away. I said, I'd love for Don to be. I'd love to meet Don. And then you've done gone ahead and done that. Thank you very much. Mrs. Wright will be delighted. Thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate that. I will definitely let her know that you did this. I haven't told her I'm doing this, by the way. This could be a nice little birthday surprise for her, which I didn't get her much for a birthday. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. Thank you very much to Don, you big dick person. Shall I put do what Amaranth does and put big D, the biggest D, at the top? Because you all want to be the big D, right? All right, that didn't work, but we did miss, actually. Can I go back to the stat board? I want to just see what happened in the match because I didn't read it because I was so bothered. Thank you very much again, Don. So that's the first loss in a while, so I'm not going to lose my mind. I don't know if you can see this, but they had 18 shots, 7 on target. Four of them were blocked. 1.44 XG, and my XG was 1.61. We were very unlucky. We should have won that. We just didn't take our chances. Clear cut chances two. They had three and we didn't score any. All right, that's just the personnel issue. Our strikers, not, none of our strikers performed. Also, why is Redmond in the middle? Uh, I didn't realize. Three key passes. Well, James Ward-Prowse didn't produce a key pass either, so people just didn't play well then. That's unfortunate. All right, we got Liverpool. Interesting. Okay, stop. I'm going to start this with a cautious straight away. I'm going to fix this out because that's not the right way I wanted it to be. Thank you, Don. If anyone's watching, I know it's a bit late and a weird time for me. Fire emotes in honor of the Don the Blowfish. There you go. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this. It's like American tax season, and I, I am staggered at... A global recession, and you guys have just been as generous as if there wasn't one. Thank you very much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I was expecting to have to throw this th th this in. I just had to throw this away and just say, done. I can't do anymore. I can't justify it. Um, we need to get a proper job. Not that there's many going around here, but still. <sighs> Thank you so much. As you know, I do this instead of getting a part-time job at a fucking McDonald's in America or whatever. And... I, I honestly am moved. Moved. If I could cry, I would be crying. But I can't cry because medically I can't. <laughs> Thank you so much, lads. I really appreciate it. Really, really from the bottom of my heart. So thank you. All right. If that's... Wait, Southampton facing goalkeeper crisis? Not with this little button here, they're not. Ings could depart Southampton. That's probably not going to happen either. Aha, one of my goal... Okay, I'm not going to try and... Oh, no, we've got Fraser Forster. I'm not even going to use it. I try to use that very sparingly when I'm testing because, obviously, 
It's unrealistic. Klopp credits Reckonist. Well, look at him on the flattering. I will take this press conference and I will be slightly combative. Uh, right. Have you found any of you any overachievement at all? I'm going to wag the finger. Um, it does feel like he's given us a bit of a pat on the head. Yeah, damn right. Oh, you want to win every match? He's off the new calendar. Could benefit from a winter break. I don't have an opinion on that. There's no reason to think we're not in with a good chance. Negative. They were very impressive and they'll be on a high as a result. Leicester will try to do better. Uh, Mohamed Salah. He gives them something nobody else in the team can offer. There you go. A nice little backhanded compliment there. Press conference managing. Not going to talk about that. I love having that sort of player in my squad. Yeah, Romeo. Probably want to hear a proper answer for you. I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah, how much you range? Yep. Yep. All right, good. Okay, decent press conference there, actually, because they hit points I wanted them to ask me about. But obviously, that's the one they focus on, the question you didn't answer. All right. Okay, so... Okay, for this game, I'm going to move Romeo here and do oh, no, half back or whatever. That means James Ward Prowse. Can you do Carolero? I just want to see him out wide, maybe doing a few crosses. And Minamino is, of course, ineligible. That means I'll put Che Adams in. That means put Che Adams on the right because that's where he played well once. And McCarthy's injured as well. Oh, great. We definitely don't have enough players here. Oh, it's giving me a grey keeper. All right, that'll do. All right, we're at home. Let's remember that. So it's counter until about 20 minutes, and then we hit attack, and then we counter until the end, hopefully not conceded by the end of the first half. Uh, view changes. What would you do? You put Alvarez in? Oh, Armstrong? Armstrong's already playing, right? Yeah, I've got Armstrong as a mez. Hmm, it's not even his natural position, centre midfielder. He's a winger? When did that happen? He wasn't always a winger, right? That's not just me. Oh, Don, have you done a prediction? <laughs> Will Wreck lose to Liverpool? Don, you... <laughs> Don's doing his modding. Wow, we could do a mod. I want to predict. I'm going to bet. Yes. All right. Well, you've got predictions. I'll wait for 30 seconds to start. It's a fun little thing that Twitch has done there, actually. I'm happy that I've got access to it. I don't think it's a fully out live yet, but um, yeah, it works well for Football Manager, I think. I think 45 seconds. In real life, Liverpool just scored two goals. That's in real life. They're taking their look there then. Liverpool 1-0, it says this. Just happened. Goal. 1-0. Mo Salah. All right. Well, it looks like all done. Let us begin and hope for a win. Or I think the uh, result was... Hang on, what was the result? Don't do the payout yet. I think most people think I'm going to lose. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Don. That's going to put a big smile on her face because she's worried, obviously, because she's going to be self-employed in America as a therapist. The startup is absurd. You've got to pay for licensing. You've got to pay for um, insurance. She's got to pay for health insurance for both of us. And fucking, of course, Mo Salah echoes real life as well. But thank you so much again, Don. Thank you. I feel better about that now. <laughs> I feel better about not being able to contribute that much to it. Matty, how's it going, mate? And Camro, thank you very much for keeping me informed. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoop. Milner, right. Okay, so I'm going to get battered out. Well, I'm playing big six teams as a non-big six. Oh, my God. Fraser Forster. Twice in five minutes. All right, we're going to attack straight away. Berate. I've noticed the cutoff. Do you remember last few FMs? Any shout she did in the opening 10 minutes didn't seem to register. I've noticed that that's changed to about five minutes now. So you can give them a shout in the first five minutes rather than 10. Which can bring you out of um, mediocrity as Danny Ying scores against his old club. Wait, Danny Ings did play for Liverpool, didn't he? Shit, am I getting him confused? 
No, he was onside, Virgil van Dijk. I'm putting that uh, bad start down to me and not looking at the, the match prep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mo Salah. Oh, did he? Oh, hit the post. Firmino hit the post. He was at Liverpool. Can't remember. He was injured all the time, wasn't he? That's a, been the story of most of his career, to be honest, unfortunately. Because he could have been something really good. He's a warrior. He's a really... He reminds me of Mark Hughes a lot, if Mark Hughes could run. <laughs> By the way, I imagine donations net you more than gift subs. Yes, significantly, because I get all of it, pretty much. Streamlabs takes a tiny bit to handle it, but gift subs go 50-50s. Yeah, I didn't realize Chromebooks were so nice these days. I always thought they were pieces of shit. And she said, well, I need a Chromebook. I'm like, why a Chromebook? It's, it's more secure. I was like, oh, okay. And then I had a look. I was like, holy shit. Also, it's too old. I am convinced we are... I'm honestly nearly there for this already. It didn't take long. Considering. It's not as effective as it maybe used to be. I don't know. Maybe it's try it with a big club. Raspberry Pi with a webcam is even more. Correct. Raspberry Pies. Yeah, Mrs. Rex gonna have her own little office. Her own office, her own little clientele of people handling, uh, well, people struggling with mental health issues, grief, things like that. I keep telling her to do, um, get accreditation for like video game addiction because I, I can relate, because I, <laughs> I can relate to that. And I'm convinced that as life goes on, that, that kind of addiction is gonna get more and more recognition. I think long term, it's a really good thing for her. But, um, she has her own career path in mind. She knows what she's doing most of the time. Also, it's 3-2 after 35 minutes. I can't believe that you're that dumb. I was, like, I was like, you know, maybe if we get half towards it by the end of the month, I'll be great. And you've already smashed a load of it. Thank you. How is your employment these days? Are you still there? Uh, no, she's a therapist. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sido Mane, you piece of shit. Also, I'm a big fan of the more dinks and chips that are happening. I'm a big fan of chips in general, but a big fan of the animations that are happening. So we're getting there. This is Liverpool as well. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember this is Liverpool and not look too far into it. And we have our substitute goalkeeper in. Mm-hmm. So Virgil van Dijk is a wall. <laughs> is a brick wall. Uh oh. Isn't it already recognized as addiction? Yes, but um depends where you are. I'm not sure if they have like a handbook. I don't know what it's like, but she has to sort of look at a specialty. Um hers I don't want to actually share what her specialty will be, but she has a very niche thing. You might know something about niches. Being a football manager fan. Also, that's 5-2 at half time. Why is it always Southampton? Four shots, four on target. 13 shots, 10 on target. Their XG should only be 1.62, so I am blaming Fraser Force who's actually having an okay game. But Walker Peters is getting ran over by Mane. And he's yellowed. He's off. We have Jack Stevens. Oh, I know. Um back. Undo. Let's just put Ward Prowse there because this game's going nowhere. I've been using Jallo as a box to box. Okay. Her speciality is all awful Brits. Yes, that's that'll be it. Oh, look at Camro and Don thinking they're being original, yet they copy each other. Ew! <laughs> Predicted yes, 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 you did. It looks like I'm getting spankaroomed unless something crazy happens here. Again, identify poor players as early as possible. All right, let's bring Edison Alvarez on for... Hang on, which one of the defenders was crap? One of them had bad. 6-4 for Vestergaard. Oh, all my set pieces are going for him. Play for set pieces. I clicked on. I'm going to click it off. 
Just see what happens. I was first. Mate, I got tactics based on 70s into Milan. Can I post them Discord if you want? Do whatever you want on the Discord, buddy. Oh, you've done a, a full-on Catanacho. Oh, oh, look at Danny Ings is injured. What a surprise. Oh, what a lovely through ball. Nathan Redmond has missed. We need to work on finishing. Actually. Wait, every time I start up Football Manager, I have to redo this. Oh, that was terrible, lad. I'd, I love that. The, making them kick it long from that goalkeeper is wonderful. All right, half back. Look at the, the movement of uh, Romeo. He, yeah, when the ball's back here, he is full on a back three. But when the ball goes over a halfway line or something, he is a full on defensive midfielder. I really like what they've done with that half back. Gets towards the halfway line, the more he gets towards a defensive midfielder. So, uh, also, Danny Ings has finishing of 18, and I'm yet to see that. Does Don even play FM? Apparently, he does. Well, he do only plays as Rosenberg, his favorite team. Oh, I didn't get a flipping Lundemo thing, did I? So, Rosenberg contacted me on Twitter, or somebody does the fans stuff and said they're going to send a signed photo of Lundemo to me and it never fucking arrived and then the pandemic hit coincidence also 6-2 now all right who's playing badly oh okay uh Danny Ings come off and uh we'll just close this out he still bloodied them I think I'm in a position to actually get some decent analytic feedback here as well. Oh, far post. Header. Goal. No. Vestergaard. Eighteen sixty Munich. Oh, Milner. James Milner's still kicking it. So, um... Oh, it's told me it's another goal... Wait, what the hell? Liverpool 2, Leipzig 0. I watched um, Juventus and Porto. What a good fucking football game that was. Absolute top class Portuguese shithousery. The second bucket as well was so is such a scumbag thing. You're just kicking the ball away. It was so blatant. What a game, though. Really enjoyed watching that. I watched the whole thing. I already knew the result, unfortunately, but if I didn't, that would have been best game of the year. Get up. Push. Also, did you know... It oh, what a tackle. Oh, no. No! Offside. Fucking hell. Right. Liverpool and their worldies. No one dislikes Pepe. Anyone who dislikes Pepe is... They've got no heart, I think. If you dislike Pepe, you've got no heart or or spirit. Or don't get the spirit of football, I don't think. I will argue that. 7-3. Why is it always Southampton getting dicked? All right. Henderson, glad of Klopp support. What? Okay. Uh, I will send a system. Comment. Zidane has been... Look, Zidane is watching Danny Ings finishing 18. Pepe Le Pro, not Pepe Le Pew, unfortunately. Release the Pepe Le Pew cut. Leading Premier League. Okay, I'm going to use my cheats here. All right. 160 and he's right at his max potential. That explains why. Consistent. Not important matches. I would have thought he was because he just seems to perform. Hmm. Well, it's not a true save anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Next thing we're going to do is another shit house for me. A, a, a system like that would be great. If when I start another proper save, I'm going to do that. Shit housery because I'm starting to feel the FM again, you know? I'm starting to feel it. 5.2k went to Antichrist. 
Oh, Andy Christ, you're a mod, aren't you? Was it you that set up that thing? The prediction? Have you paid out? All right. Training. Am I doing training or what? I can't remember. All right, West Brom is today. Chance creation, attacking wings, match practice, match tactics. Oh, we haven't got, oh, Chelsea. Yeah, we'll swap, swap those, yeah. I'll also do a defensive shape. Wow. All right, uh, we're gonna start off cautious again. Gonna keep this exactly the same. I am going to remove Danny Ings' injury and just keep that in mind. I mean, if he performs amazingly. All right, West Brom. Actually, it's West Brom. Attack. Um, also, is Thingy back? McCarthy is not. Minamino is, though. Okay. Yep, fine. Time for bed Thursday tomorrow. Oh, mate, I will let you know. I'll tell Mrs. Rack and I'll get her to send you a message or something. Thank you very much, buddy. You could do the tactic you just talked about with Porto. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't watch too closely where people were. But I can definitely try that. How's about uh thing he's got oh, what's his fucking name? Porto's goalkeeper did a couple of absolutely textbook pure goalkeeper trained saves diving towards a football rather than across your net brilliant it's such a hard little skill that I said it's not even skill it's a technique and you can't really um, it's difficult to have naturally Marquison, yeah M Marquison, Marquison, Oliver Oliveira thank you diving towards the ball is such a a revelation to being a good goalkeeper for me. For me, as a goalkeeper union representative, I love it. I love seeing it. Because, you know, that is the working day in, day out thing. You're not diving away. You're not diving across. Wait, is that another Peno? Another Peno shout? Penalty. Hey! Um, it was like twice where another goalkeeper would have just dived across or wait for the ball to hit his hand. He went towards it. He dived it diagonally towards it or rushed out towards it. And each time I was like, ooh, he's not going to get beat. But he did. <laughs> Chiesa as well. How good was he? Breath of fresh air, wasn't he, for Juve? It was a great game. If you've not watched it, go find it. Also, I've just um, found a place where I can watch Match of the Days without having a scumbag through VPN, which is always a pain in the ass with the BBC website because it knows when you're using a VPN. But yes, I will be commenting much more on it, Match of the Days. Mm -mm. All right, 1-0. Fair enough. Two penalty shouts. XG of 1.12. They fail to have a single shot. Right, where is... Um, struggle to perform. Bertrand... Oh, best performance struggle. Che Adams, you need to come off then. Okay. I'm going to keep this the same as attack here. Yeah. Expected to win attack. I still believe that Kulazewski instead of Morata or another on the field. Morata has been play. Oh my god, look at that back five. Um, That's how they're trying to do this. They're trying to do me with a back five. So is that three years in the row? Juventus got knocked out. And yeah. Yeah, I saw a meme where somebody put a picture of, um, well, they said Buffon waiting to win his Champions League medal in 2016. It was just a picture of Prince Philip. <laughs> like, yeah. Porto played well, but if I could decide the matches for the quarters, it would be Dortmund versus Porto. Oh, that'd be interesting. What about Holland's little chip goal from the byline? That was brilliant. Yep. 
really good football last night, and hopefully I get to see some highlights of tonight's as well. It's been a good week for 40, I think. Right, 76%. Everyone's knackered. All right, can we... Oh, tempo's only up there. Okay. Any system that has two center halves and no backup is always fun. Ajax, Leon, and Porto. Yep. And that would those were the, somebody was it on Discord? Somebody mentioned those are the clubs that the Juventus chairman said that they weren't glamorous enough for like a European Super League, and they just dicked them out of the most important competition three years in a row. <laughs> also, far post Vestergaard. I'm wondering if I should have plays for set pieces on or off. I suppose with Ward Prowse, you really should. Best of guard man of the match, 8.2. Key passes, four from Bertrand, two Walker Peters. And James Ward Prowse subbed off and already had three. All right. Yeah, well done. It's West Brom, though. Oh, sorry, I was busted. Oh yeah, I think the game classes this as like a zero... Wait, what is it? It classes it as something strange. Where's my biography? Where's preferred formation? It, okay, the game classes this as four three three zero. I mean, there's the four, and there's the three, and there's the three, and no striker. So also we have the Italian flag up here represent. Cool. Bednarik didn't own goal, get sent off on real estate. <laughs> Bednarik's a really good defender. Juventus fucked it when they ditched the team philosophy for the superstars. Mm, shirt sales. Mm -hmm. People put in, again, every year it's the same. People put, oh, he might join United this year. He actually might get kicked out. <laughs> Is, co is his contract up, or is it another year? Real Madrid signing Ings. Ugh. Off a new car. I'm not going to leave this. Chelsea opposition report. Okay. United Kingdom leaves the EU. What? Shocker. Okay, counter-attack. Ward Prowse Romeo. Romeo is not natural at being a halfback just yet. Have I trained him? No. Let's put him as a halfback. Actually, he's not going to have much of the ball. Do you want to just do defensive midfield and see what happens there? All right. So I've done the training right. We're not going to get much. Okay. Uh, new work permit rules. Points based system. Goal of the month. Danny Ings, goal of the month versus Southampton. Let's have a look. I don't remember it. Oh, is this the one I was going to say? I was actually going to upload to... Yeah, it was from the back. It was just incredibly well built from the back. There was like 30 seconds of passing before that. Oh, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Apparently, Gaeta's glass wrist wasn't counted. All right, January, by the way. Have I got any money? 2.45 million. Yeah, I'm going to do anything. Ronaldo has one more year. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, top half finish or qualify the European? I get no money. I just get a slightly bigger wage budget. What's the, why would I over promise? Uh, director of football signing staff, which I like. Chelsea are ninth and we're sixth. What was wrong with that? Has anyone noticed anything that's particular about, um, like, since the patch update? Has anyone noticed any teams overperforming or underperforming? Has anyone tested enough to see? Because I've been away for a while. Person number one. <laughs> 
Where was that? It said person number one is upset. Brentford have made an offer for Sam McQueen. I don't know if I'll go into the next season for this, but... Um... All right. Um, what are you doing? He's moving everybody around again. No, leave it. Romeo and Ward-Prowse seem to like each other. Vestergaard and Bednarek are improving. Uh, Minamino for... Yeah. All right. More, more, more. So this is another big team. I'm going to make sure that we are fired up, ready to go for this because the last, the first five minutes against Liverpool was awful. Worthy display. Do it for the media. Seen motivated. All right. Remember, remember when stadiums had fans in them? Also, I don't know about the Cavani story. Apparently, he doesn't have any. Oh. Well, do United need a striker in the summer? I don't know about that. But I don't even know if Cavani is annoyed or not. I mean, he's, to be fair, how could he have settled well? Middle of a lockdown into a country he's never been in before for more than, like, what, 48 hours? It's completely understandable if he's on... If he, if he's on also, he's old. What, is he 35? And he wants to be near his family and retire? Fair enough. Let him go with our blessing. He's become a bit of a favorite for me. I like him a lot. Stay if, if we can get him to stay, stay. If you can't, go with our blessing. But then also that we need the, you know, Erling Haaland to come in, <laughs> filling in his spot, I reckon. How good is he? He makes it look like he's playing against kids and that's what Ronaldo used to do. All right, counter-attack goal. I mean, who would be happy in lockdown in winter? I reckon he probably lives in um, Worsley or something. I don't know. But United do would need a... I think they'd need a kind of experienced poachery type guy. Or Haaland. <laughs> Minamino! Off the post! Oh, Mendy. All right, Southampton are very happy. They really should have scored. Oh, we've had two shots on target. They've had four. Low possession. Pretty much exactly what we wanted. Redmond has lost possession more. Struggle for possession. Up positions half. All right. Um, give it up. Yeah. Uh, tactics. Right. I'm going to try something. Um, I'm going to just move Danny Ings back a little bit. Just so he does... A, does a bit less running because, you know, Danny Ings. Also, it would help with possession a little bit. Oh, no. Off the line, Walker Peters. Offside. Nope. All of them, all of them players were offside and they were interfering. Don't tell me they weren't interfering with that. All right, Redmond, put your foot through it next time. Wait, who's doing opposition instructions? <sighs> All right. 60 minutes. We need to not be so backed in. Nathan Redmond's played shit. Gen Pro? Yep. Go. Oh, Armstrong. Oh, 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 foul ref, surely. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, well done, Mr. Bertrand. I was about to say you were playing Tosh. No, that was... That's Fraser Forster trying to play out from the back. <laughs> you see that? 
Okay, playmaker, playmake. Oh, he has done. Oh, jet pro! Oh my god, you idiot. He's playing nice football. I wonder what it's going to look like with really good players. Because Southampton should be, what? Yeah, 10th. And we played a lot of top sixes recently. Get up. Dish. So also needs Chelsea is new every save transfer, is it? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Not around, not played enough yet. Another patch. Far post. Uh, that is a goal. Genepro. Genepo. Goal. Goal. Mendy could have done better at his near post. I don't know. Okay, so I think I've um, made a a solid decision on how to um, handle free kicks. Um, defending them. Don't concede them. That is the best defense for the obviously overpowered set pieces. Um, don't concede them. So light tackles everywhere. Stay on feet everywhere. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference in the game, uh, in matches. And it seems to make a lot of a difference in the amount of set pieces conceded. Yeah, just don't concede. Just don't concede the free kicks. So tell them not to foul. Fouls, 8, 13. So they've had twice as many. They've committed twice as many fouls and we've won 2-0. And we shouldn't be doing that. All right. Uh, well done. I reckon it's time for a little... Yeah, we're doing really well. I think maybe... I, I don't know if I did that just before I finished last night, actually. Where is it? There we go. Team meeting. Playing really well and I'm delighted. Agreeable, positive. Oh, that'll do. Okay, that's fine. That team co oh yeah, I, I click maximize familiarity when the season started. I think it helped. Yellow card. Well, double. There is a way. There is a way to encourage more fouls, and that is. Um... Oh, eight games unbeaten at home. with Chelsea were I just smashed him. Um, yeah, the the um, disciplinary thing, not encouraging fouls, is something I have experimented with earlier on this year. And it definitely helps. So if you want more... Okay, again, the theory is if you're not getting booked every game, are you doing everything possible to help your team? You're not doing that snide foul when you could on a key... On, uh, you know, and it's a clear-cut chance. You're not doing that. So are you really helping? You don't want to discourage yellows or repeat offender yellows. So you don't find them for double yellow sending off or... But, sorry, you can find them for double yellow sending off, but don't find them for multiple bookings, suspensions. That's my personal observation from that. That's if you want that. And I think you should. If you're not getting booked, you're not doing enough. Bit of a um, hot take, spicy take, but... Um, I believe it. What's going on? Who's annoyed? Stevens. Oh, good. Harry Lewis wants a new contract to justify his importance to the team. Yeah. Decline. Oh, yeah. I've got everybody training on the roles that they're playing in. Oh, no. I haven't. Yellow's on deep line playmaker. Oh, because that's what it started off as. Yeah, just keep him there. Seems to be going all right. All right. Preston. Oh, we can do a little rotation. Pulis 101. Yeah, Kamikaze. Exactly right. You can get it. Just don't get booked twice. And if you get suspended, good. Why? Because I got five other players who play. And they want some play time. So I couldn't ever do that. It's just unfortunate if it lands on like a cup final or something. I don't know.
All right, I'm going to just instant result this. I don't really care about the league. Actually, no, I'm going to try and win the cup. I'm going to try and win the league cup. Unhappy with the amount of playtime. Who was that? Somebody was unhappy with the amount of playtime and they had a blue kit. I didn't see who it was. Oh, no. Let's see. All right. Cautious to balance. No, we're going to go attack. Uh, view changes. No, just... Oh, yeah. Shit. That was something I was going to check. I think my assistant's actually fairly decent at tactics, right? What's his name? Kretzer... Kretzer... Kitzbilsha. Tactical knowledge 14. Fair enough. I'm going to let you make changes on the fly in the middle of a match. Um, can't remember how you do that now. Tactics. Provides opposition instructions. Wait, where is the allowing? Oh, yeah. There you go. Wait, handle touch line instructions, team talks. That's not shouts, is it? Oh, well, I'm going to let him do that, whatever it is. Okay, um, slight rotation. All right, what have we got here? Ward Prowse can have a day off. I know he's got natural fitness 20 and everything, but he can have a day off. Alvarez. Bertrand as well. We have Young McQueen. Young McQueen. He's 25 now. Young McQueen. Razor Forster, Salisu for Vestergaard. Theo Walcott. Nah, take, keep Walcott off. <laughs> Not going to fit in here. All right. Touchline instructions are the shouts. Yeah, that makes sense. I just, I'm just, it's been so long since I've really fo like focused on anything like this. So also the new skin is uh, a little bit different. All right. One loss, loss, one, one. So, the stream started there, and obviously, I lost for the first time <laughs> as soon as the stream went live. Yeah. All right, just win. Cautious, no attack. Get up. Ooh. Ilbert, how's it going, mate? Yeah, it's stream of curse. Damn right. Miles, I think he logs in, hacks into my game and just like, okay, blanket, reduce current ability, 20%. There you go. And <laughs> settle down, boys. It's going to be fun. I love watching streamers think they're good. Off he goes. Go on, Charlie. Go on, Charlie. Oh, it's Che Adams. Oh. Sweeping counterattack football. Lovely. Have you been ill, bid? Have you checked the free game on Epic, by the way? It's uh, RTS about, um, well, yeah. It's a war RTS. I've downloaded it. Give it a go later. Why do I have to change this every game? Match stats with bars goes there. I can't remember what I put here. Oh, player ratings. There you go. That was it. I'm fine. I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, yeah. Had my counseling appointment earlier. Realized just how devastating certain, certain things were when I was young. I'm going to talk about I like talking about my mental health stuff. But literal, like, repressed memories. I... <sighs> Some of it is very harmful. Ilbons, how's it going? Speaking of mental health issues, my wife, bless her, will be now, is a fully qualified therapist and is starting out on her own with her own business. She'll have her own business cards. She's just come back, so she doesn't want to talk about me. She doesn't want to hear me compliment her. But, um, yeah, I haven't told her about the donation thing and Don. Hi! You did. Oh, look. Look what I did. I set a target for your Chromebook. Aww. 
And Don just fired in hundred dollars to it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Wait, you can't see me. She can't see the cry. Say off from over here. Okay, do it there. Okay, make sure you Wait, really no. sell it with your I'm eyes. Am I still on the wrong side or is it lagging? It's lagging. That's not live. Oh. That's the what's they're seeing. Okay. So that's what we're, that's what we'll they will see. Okay, say aw. Aw. <laughs> that's right. So I, she, she needs startup costs and stuff like that. I'm so, so excited and so nervous. Susan's gonna call and go, I need a therapist and you're gonna be the therapist. <laughs> you're gonna be the, the, the you know, the, the human being with their shit together. <laughs> That's funny. Which is really funny because I won't even say my age, but I'm in my 30s. <laughs> and I just took the bus alone for the very first time. Yeah, she's never been on the bus before because our car broke down. Yeah, my car broke the other day, which, which is, is not a big deal. It should be an easy fix, but I need to go to the store. Yep. <laughs> so she went to the shop on the bus. But this bus is different. It's got GPS, so you know where it is. So you're not wasting half your fucking time waiting at a bus stop for a bus that's an half, half an hour away. The first... Uh, so I was thought about taking an Uber, but it's $15 plus a tip, and the mm. bus is $1.75. And I was like, well, I'm going to be brave and take the bus. And the first one I went on, um, there was nobody but me. Oh, perfect. And the bus driver gave me all these tips. She's like, if you walk on the way back, if you walk to a news stop, and she pointed out where it was, she goes, you'll save 30 minutes. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, so it was really nice. Well, Mrs. Rex Adventures, stay tuned for the blog. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Matt. Thank you for everyone. Even... Even if there's no donations, because I was not expecting that. Yeah. I just love the fact that everyone's so supportive and that you guys openly talk about mental health. Like, it just warms my heart. Well, I do. These guys less so. The, um, <laughs> I was just talking about it then, actually, but I won't know. I'll tell you about it later. Right. I'm gonna I, know, I know the repressed memory. <laughs> I'm going to start dinner. Oh, good. Lucky me. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, that that's... um. Yeah, we have car trouble. She took the bus. The reason why we've got business startup costs to consider now. Twitch counseling, somebody mentioned. We have thought about it, Thrainin. Um, there's a problem. Okay, she'll come over and she'll tell us why I'm wrong. Go on. I would totally be open. If people were interested, I would do like a question and answer or education about yeah. mental health. But I wouldn't want to do like, and of course, like a like general advice. Yeah, remember she's a therapist. She's yeah. not your therapist. But I wouldn't want to get into anything where someone might need something or, private. Although I could make recommendations. Absolutely. But, yeah. But she, you totally, can't be everyone's support. Yeah, but I'd totally be open to like a question and answer or anything like yeah. that because I think the more we take stigma away from it, the better. Yes. Okay. Now I'm starting. Okay. Don't cry. All right. So yes, Mrs. Rec, fully licensed, qualified, qualified, qualified businesses, business lady. Um, we'll have an office and phone and clients and stuff like that. So we're very excited, but also terrified because she will be away from the support blanket of a professional company providing things like insurance referrals and things like that so it's going to be interesting it's going to be an interesting year she's going to be starting in about two or three weeks so yeah donations go towards the chromebook which is the only thing we will struggle to pay for because now we got to pay for car repairs which is why she took the bus oh my god it's all crazy question, you have a question i want to know their opinion. my their opinion you ask them okay they care they care about you all right <laughs> not implying i don't no there is a training offered in my area called like geek therapy. Oh my God, I just, I've just talked about this, oh, but we haven't spoke about this. You learn how to relate, and some of it I know because I'm a nerd, but like you learn how to relate certain like behaviors to like certain classes and you specialize in helping people who are part of like the nerd or geek culture. All right, and so yeah. It sounds interesting, but I wonder if it would actually have any interest like do you guys think it's something that i would apply or does it sound That's stupid well i have literally said this about 20 minutes ago i said the more um as time goes on therapy as a concept is going to get less stigmatized because guess what millennials are going to become old people and they're going to teach kids the correct way or at least start dealing with it the correct way rather than repress it in a good old english way um so that's going to happen 
It is a l something you'd be good at. Is the idea sound? Let's place. Let's let's have everybody's thoughts on the table. Would you? Would you identify the? Oh, hang on. So you remember that really good Chromebook? Somebody's just donated one hundred and eighty-eight dollars and one cents. That zero one. I know. Don't cry. I've already said I would have cried when Don donated because it's been so like. Yeah. <sighs> There's no name. That usually means well. The name's John Lennon. No, don't, don't. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. The wife is washing her hands to come over and probably thank you personally. It's gonna help a lot of people. Thank you. I feel so supported. Like, my heart is so warm. Oh, don't. So you excited. make me cry now. You'll make oh. me cry. No, this is going to go like, this is going out to 25 people on the internet. It's, don't embarrass yourself. It just means a lot. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. It's going to go to her. Uh, I've done it in a day. I thought, you know, we'll get a little bit towards it by the end of the month when we're expecting you to probably start or something. That was the idea. <laughs> but then they've gone. No, they. Oh, you guys. I'd Felicia. No, I won't say that. I will Felicia. Uh, you, any of you? That means be really good. Thank twenty-five people. That's not allowed for Corona regulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, John Lennon. Whoever you are, John Lennon and Don, everybody, let's hear it for them. Let's fire all your emotes into the chat in support, recognition, and love for those human beings. Thank you very much. We've had a... Oh, it's been rough. I will get a Felicia for people. Yes, Felicia. Yep, that's what I'll get. Thank you very much. <sighs> okay, I feel a bit... Chemically, it's hard for me to cry, but I feel a bit teary. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm trying not to force it, but when I breathe, it wants to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, hey, gold, not meat. What an asshole would do that. I don't know. Imagine all the people. I'm not going to do a fucking guile give oh, Imagine all the people. Look at me. Cry. Oh, I feel dizzy. I'm sorry. We're playing Arsenal. I'm not even paid attention to what's happening here. No one's... Yeah, who's who's put onions, chopped onions, into the air conditioning unit? That's the only explanation we have. Fucking hell. So that's a really good Chromebook. Professionally. Fantastic. Thank you. And we can write that off on our taxes. <laughs> Next year. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you but so much. I, you don't understand the concept of writing these off. To be fair. Uh, well, that fake cry killed my boner. Well, you probably should see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I can only get off when the people I'm, cry I'm getting off about are crying and on the internet. Is there like a? There's got to be like a a. Cr a <laughs> Yeah, there's a fetish for that, surely. <laughs> Just think about Felicia. Or the Spanish version, Felicio. Thank you very much. I don't know what to say. That's the look of... I feel... What's that feeling I've got now? Pride. Remember Pride? <laughs> I don't remember Pride. I used to have it. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, absolutely no kink shaming. People, there should be less of less kink shaming. If if you, everything yeah, we don't kink shame in this house. Let me tell you. Yeah. In this house, we don't do kink shaming. Oh, by the way, it's what? Oh yeah, I've done it, guys. It's over. I'm not even paying attention. It's one nil. What's my kink? Um, people asking what my kink is and me lying about it. That's my kink. 
Well, I don't know. Thank you so much, guys. I I, 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 I bet you. I don't know what to say. Shall we get? Oh, now should we should get a tier. We'll get a like a. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go for a. Oh shit, Stevens! Yeah, what a goal! Yeah, Jack Stevens. I that looks so believable and real. Everyone, watch this. Stevens tries it there. Keeper comes out. Ryan tries to hit it out, but it lands at Stevens' his own foot, and then he smashes it forty yards in. Brilliant. Goalkeeper out of position. That looked completely believable. <sighs> I'm sorry. A lot's going on right now in my mind. Was that Runnison? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Do I want chocolate? Yes. I don't get much chocolate. I'm on low carbs. Brighton goalkeeper, Matty Ryan. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm just really everywhere right now. Emotional high. I don't know. All right. Football. Oh, no. Come on. Smith Row. Encourage. Come on, lads. Let's, let's um, keep this out. All right. They're not expecting me to go attacking for 10 minutes, are they? Bellerin does a fucking worldy. Damn it. All right. Oh, they should be battering us, but they ain't. Get it. Nope. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I've not done anything, though. To justify, oh, blocked. Good. Sorry. Um, yeah, I need to just get composed and back into streaming mode. <laughs> take a short break. I'm gonna take a short break. That's a good idea. I will be back in a few seconds. Actually, wait. If I click break, you won't be able to see it, will I? Let's have a look. Oh, it says be right back. I'll just turn the camera off a second. <sighs> Sorry, we're both. There's. Usually when it's one of us overwhelmed, it's fine. But when both of us, we need to hug it out. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll keep the game on. Yeah. All right. Back in a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Sorry, guys. That was an emotional break. Two all. That will do. We're away. Fine. <sighs> Unlucky. Yeah, well done. <sighs> I need something here, don't I? I need to get a board or something with some pictures of Roy Hodgson. I also need a lamp. Right. All right. Send assistant. Well done, lads. Manchester United in three days' time. Uh, defensive shape. Yep. Oh, also uh, attacking corners because we're not going to get many chances. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Back now. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got people here. Um, Who shall I play a save with if I'm going to do shithousery? What do you think? No Millwall. Porto, perhaps. If we're going to do anti-football stuff again. What do you reckon? 
Oh god, I just saw the donation thing. <laughs> uh, West Brom, ooh. That's a difficult first season, that's not a bad idea thrown in. Alright, it's a uh, thingy back. Walker Pizzas, yes. Edison Alvarez. Armstrong. Ward Prowse Register. Romeo. Minamino. You know, Ings in the middle. I'm starting with the Ings in the middle. Bow. Birmingham laws. Uh, not a bad idea either. Right, Birmingham have money now. What happens to Birmingham? Wait, we've got a Birmingham fan in, right? Is it Camro? Shit, somebody's from Birmingham. God, who is? A Spanish club or a French club. Yeah, we, Matt, did you miss the rundown of how it is streaming FM when it comes to teams? If you don't do the big three leagues, England, Germany, and Italy, if you don't stream one of them, nobody turns up. For the most part. Those saves are best for YouTube videos. Maybe I should do a YouTube video series. I've never done a YouTube series. Cadiz? They beat both Barca and Madrid with 20% possession. They also have Negredo. <laughs> they got Negredo? Oh, really? Yo, is that? Yo Madridista? Hellas Verona? Why? I'm not, I'm not familiar with why Verona would be good for that. What about... Hmm... Well, I always do Lazio. Fucking Bruno, obviously. Lazio are my go-to test team. For stuff like that, but... Is Getafe kind of play anti-football in Spain? I don't know. I don't watch enough Spanish football anymore. Torino is literally in their culture, defensive football, so that's a safe one. Hmm... Chocolate, good. Basically, Verona were freshly promoted in the old Serie A squad last season. Scum their way to mid-table. Oh, really? So if I click on Verona's personnel, they're all going to be aggression 20, first touch 3, <laughs> things like that. Hmm, De Gea is injured. I'm going to use that. Shit on sight. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I can't have a look at Verona. Yeah, I'm quietly confident. I've lit a few more tweaks and a couple of seasons uh, of testing from scratch. Big team, little team, you know. I think this might be done already. Didn't take long. Look at that. Perfect. It's very narrow, though. Lindelof on the wing. Hmm. Oh, Minamino. Go, 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 lad. Shoot. Oh, shoot from range. <laughs> Wolfsburg, nine people defending plus Voot Veghorst. Really? Hmm. Wolfsburg, eh? All right, I'll... Ooh. Oh, shit. All right. Okay, so... Hang on, let's get a pen. <laughs> Wolfsburg. Verona. Uh, Torino. Cadiz. Do I want parsnips or red onion? Parsnips. Those are the two options. <laughs> no, parsnips. parsnips alone is good. They're fake chips. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're chips in mine. Parma. Uh, yeah, maybe. 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 But if you're scumbagging in a league full of scumbags, is it really scumbagging? Question for the philosophers there. Are you really scumbagging if everyone's trying to scumbag each other? Or are you 
just a product of your time. Hmm. Verda, Verda. I do like the idea of having Veghorse, though, because I'm a big fan of Veghorse. Is it still scumbacking, but it's the norm? Okay. Okay. Scumbag is a state of mind. <laughs> it's like part life. Scumbag! <laughs> Confidence is a preference of the habitual voyeur of what is known as... Scumbag! <laughs> Oh dear, I cracked myself up. Am I drunk? I am super wobbly right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm so elated. Yeah, my energy has skyrocketed. It might be my pills. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've never been happy without pills. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right. Also, Manji is like stripy kit just makes them look like jokes. It's just like, yeah. So, oh yeah, did you see the stat? It's been going around a few weeks now. People, oh, hang on, what is the stat? Let's have a look at the, have a look at the picture in our Discord. Wait, is that not on there? Nope. Goals, goals, goals. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at this. Europe's top five leagues. Most chances created. Luke Shaw is third with 34 this year. Best thing for him was Alex Teller's signing. I reckon he went, right, fuck this. I'm going to take chances <laughs> and did it. Interesting, isn't it? Hey, finally had a shot on target. All right, big clubs not enjoying this. Okay, well, I think I should just have attacking as default and just say fuck it. Hmm. So yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna have to get a grip. I'm probably I'm gonna have to end the stream here. I think. <laughs> just I need to get a grip because I'm all over the place. Danny Ings, hey, good goal. All right, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to be live tomorrow. I'm gonna make a decision probably based on these teams that I've looked at or been mentioned here. We'll do a proper save because the last few streams have just been me messing about with strikerless and coming up with this. I'm gonna download put this up onto Patreon. Uh, tonight. Uh, so Patreon supporters, you can get access to the file, test it out. Maybe let me know how you do if you're interested in doing that type of testing stuff. Support the Patreon and a massive, big, big man kisses to Don and John Lennon <laughs> for their big, massive donations and helping you know, the wife and myself make us feel good. Say thank you again. Loud, can't hear you. Repeat what you say. Thank you. From the depths of her soul. Where it used to be. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I need to go and calm down. Something's not quite right with me right now. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Um, enjoy your evenings. Thank you very, very much. That's all I can say. Take care. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow.